I'm Dustin Cormier, and this is the How to Rock Astrology audio series. The information in this recording is copyrighted by Dustin Cormier, 2015, all rights reserved, except where noted in the recording. The following information on ascendant or rising signs comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Guidelines to Interpreting the Ascendant Although the Ascendant is of deep and pervasive importance for each individual, there is no denying that it must be related to the rest of the chart, and especially to the Sun sign, in order to understand it thoroughly for a particular person. The Sun, after all, is the core identity, the very center of the consciousness, the way we assimilate much of our experience. Whereas the Ascendant, although it varies in importance from person to person, is not as central to the person's nature. It shows, among other things, the approach to life, but the sun shows life itself. The ascendant must serve the purposes, values, and creative goals of the sun for the individual to function happily and fully. A useful tool for understanding how a person's ascendant and sun sign interact is to compare the elements of the two factors. For example, a Cancer Sun sign person with a fire sign rising is usually far more extroverted, forcefully expressive, and confident than a Cancer Sun individual with, say, a more con conservative, self-protective Earth sign rising. For another example, an Air sign Sun person with a water sign rising may appear much more emotional than he or she really is, whereas a water sign Sun person with an Air sign rising may appear far more detached and less emotional than he or she really is. It should be pointed out that people are often relatively unaware of their ascendant nature as compared to their sun sign. In that sense, the ascendant is a factor that can be consciously developed further over time and consciously utilized to aid one's self-expression. I've known people who are relieved to find what their rising signs were since it finally gave them a way of identifying a very deep but only semi-conscious tendency in themselves. In some cases, the qualities and abilities symbolized by the Ascendant were just beginning to emerge, and learning the astrological keys to this factor helped personal development greatly. I should emphasize here that perhaps more than with most other factors in the chart, the early environment can encourage or suppress the expression of the Ascendant's energies, since it is a primary channel with which one interacts with the outer world. The reader should view the following comparative evaluations as guidelines and as questions to explore rather than as rigid statements of absolute truth. Pisces modality or quadruplicity. The Pisces modality is mutable, the flexible energy mode. There are exactly four of these flexible signs in the zodiac belonging to the mutable modality. These include Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, and Virgo, and they all share similar characteristics. All four of these signs exhibit more of an ability to lighten up and go with the flow than the other eight signs of the zodiac. They're typically more light and lively, and more apt to entertain new ideas, even if they sometimes lack the concentration needed to always get to the bottom line. These flexible signs share the challenge to be more deliberate and focused, to be willing to slow down enough to avoid confusion or miss the point. The Element of the Ascendant The element of the Ascendant reveals the quality of energy flow directly vitalizing the physical body and the overall approach to life. Fire or air signs rising tend to conduct energy, encouraging active self-expression and dynamic expenditure of energy. Earth or water rising signs tend to conserve and resist the flow of vital energies, and hence indicate self-containment, sometimes self-repression, and the tendency of living within oneself. Water signs rising, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, most easily influenced by the environment and by other people. Sensitive, moody, wary because of a strong feeling of vulnerability and likelihood of being hurt. Protective of self, but also of others one cares about. Sympathetic, feels others' emotions immediately and forcefully. Very private, lives deeply within oneself. Pisces Ascendant or Pisces Rising. 
Because the sun is weak in Pisces, thus allowing Pisces sun individuals to be strongly influenced by all the other factors in their chart, there seem to be more types of Pisces sun individuals than Pisces, Pisces rising people. Those with Pisces ascendant are almost uniformly sensitive, compassionate, emotional, imaginative, and helpful. There seems to be a strength of character in the Pisces ascendant that is sometimes lacking in the Pisces sun, who is so often passive, evasive, escapist, and irresponsible. Probably it is the ancient ruler of Pisces, Jupiter, that accounts for the strength of character and buoyancy that is especially evident in so many Pisces ascendant people. Sometimes that is far more apparent than the influence of the modern ruler Neptune. In fact, one should always look to the Jupiter sign and house of Pisces ascendant people for key insights into their nature. Besides being able to empathize with and help those who are having difficulties, Pisces rising people are also often philosophical and surprisingly unperturbed when they, when they themselves experience misfortune. Like Virgo Ascendant, its opposite sign, Pisces Ascendant people don't feel the need for credit or public acknowledgement for all they contribute to others. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's classic text, Astrology, A Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Pisces on the Ascendant, easygoing and indolent, sympathetic, super sensitive and affectionate, weak rather than strong, plastic and impressionable, always asking advice but never taking it, sentimental and extremely psychic but in a negative way, secretive and impractical, romantic and a dreamer, absent too often from focused awareness of the present, often dreams through life rather than living it, often involved in music, has a lonesomeness that nothing in the outer world can assuage. A mystic who needs to search beyond the personality plane for himself. Aloneness at times, an absolute necessity. Vibrations of the outer plane are difficult for their sensitive mechanism to withstand. Very likable, need to learn to be practical and concentrate their energies on the here and now. Make excellent musicians. Must serve others in their life work. This ascendant gives mystical powers when the emotions are under control. The following information comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Gentle, kind-hearted, tranquil, and serene. Peaceful Pisces dislikes intensity and contention. People with Pisces rising are very uncomfortable with confrontation. Don't ask me, they say. You might disapprove, and I can't endure your disfavor. It weighs too heavily on my psyche. As youngsters, these folks are always cooperative and easy to handle. After all, they don't want friction. Even into adulthood, they can be scaredy cats when it comes to others' disapproval. These folks are good listeners. They absorb on an emotional level exactly what's being said. Their mouths are shut, but their ears and feelings are open. They're Christ-like cosmic travelers, sometimes feeling a little earthbound, but longing to soar like an angel. They enjoy their solitude, peace, and quiet, and the shadows of nighttime. Physical type. Delicate appearance, sometimes pale skin. Favored colors. Emerald green, sea green, midnight blue. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, A Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. The Significance of the Sun and the Sun Sign in Astrology The symbol of the sun in astrology is a circle with a dot in the middle. This is a very deep occult spiritual symbolism. The circle represents the eternal self, that did not start here and does not finish here on earth. The dot in the middle represents the divine spark at the center of every living cell, the light which lighteth every man with which cometh into the world. It is the point of light at the center of every living cell. In the blueprint, the sun represents the main expression of the individual, the heart and core of beingness. 
The sun has a different effect on individuals born at different times of the year. According to the sign and house in which the sun is placed, we are able to judge the general vitality and physique, the qualities of leadership, and the individual's ability to succeed in life. In a personal chart, the sun represents the basic drive for significance, the will, male relationships and female charts, especially with the father, vital energy coming from the etheric levels and prana, fuel on which the total personality operates, urge for power, constitutional strength, and finally, a powerful sun means very great power to do and to be. Keywords of the sun, will, individuality, spirit. The sun is the significator of the spirit in man, the beingness or isness of life. It rules the basic drive for significance, the will to be. Physically, the sun is the sustainer of life, giver of light, heat, and energy. More than anything else in the chart, it shows the will, man's highest expression. Its aspects show deep character traits, the chief ambitions. It needs aspects to the planets for strength of expression in the horoscope. As the sun moves through the signs, its return to the sign of its exaltation, Aries, the eastern horizon, marks the beginning of the astrological year. Springtime brings the release of a new cycle of life. As the sun moves through Aries' sun, Aries is a fire sign. These are the common characteristics of people born with the sun in fire signs. Basically motivated by inspirations and aspirations. Recharges energy through vigorous, physically demanding activity and by pursuing new visions for the future. Interpretive guidelines for the sun in Aries. Radiates forceful, confident vitality tries to fill need for recognition with self-assertion and direct, competitive actions. Forceful assertion of individuality is necessary for full self-expression. Identifies self as explorer, pioneer, the first to begin an adventure. Quickly grasps essentials. May antagonize others with too forceful expression of individuality. This final article comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign, by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Aries born pre-dawn. Aries with Pisces rising. Always fascinating and sometimes glamorous when the Aries ego is complemented by a whimsical, somewhat delicate Pisces personality. The result is a tantalizing blend of charisma and artistry. Arians with Pisces rising have a wonderful eye for beauty, and they're superb at imaging. As the sign of illusion, Pisces often gives them a photogenic quality. They take naturally to the manufacture of images and the production of motion pictures. In fact, the creation of all forms of illusion is in their ballywick. Cameras and photography are a significant part of Pisces' domain. However, these Arians are rarely driven solely by prospects of financial reward. They thrive instead on achieving personal satisfaction and the creation of beauty, and if they can find in life what truly inspires them, they attain ultimate happiness as well. Active research with an open mind, exposing themselves to all the world has to offer, ensures that discovery. They shouldn't sit idly with crossed fingers, wishing and waiting for their destiny to fall into their lap. Often they gravitate towards people helping institutions like schools and hospitals or to vocations and lifestyles that take them to the sea. The nuts and bolts of everyday living on the coldest stone planet Earth can overwhelm these bright-eyed and bushy-tailed but wistful Aryans. They truly need something that stimulates their spirit, something they can create transform, or perfect. Delicate Pisces and agile Aries often combine to form a skilled ballet dancer or a charming actress. Hours spent alone honing their craft, even into the quiet and lonely wee hours, will never seem burdensome, but always inspiring if they've found their artistic niche. However, 
This combination of charm and artistry creates a shrewd inoffensiveness that often allows these Aryans to get away with untold mischief. They should avoid becoming too delighted with their own intriguing cleverness. They might end up indulging it to their detriment. The Pisces' need for peace moderates the vigor of Aries, producing a sensitivity unwilling to rock the boat. These folks often keep their mouths shut, preferring their motives to be unseen. But their polite civility, tempered with timidity, can arouse suspicion. If others begin to wonder what they're up to, or why they refuse to put their cards on the table, ulterior motives will be suspected, and people will be less prone to extend the cooperation that makes life so much easier. Arians born pre-dawn simply need to have the courage to show their Aries honesty and build trust by revealing themselves. There's nothing to lose. When they're willing to stick their neck out, they'll find that, more often than not, their contributions will be enthusiastically welcomed.